Once you've done that, you could click on register to set up your account. Here you enter in your desired account information. <laughs> Username and a password. And then your email address. Um, you could choose which server you want to play on. And your date of birth. And the country that you live in. Down here, you could take a look, click on this link to see the terms and conditions of the game, which you should read and accept before registering. Also, take a look at our data privacy policy. Once you've done both of those things, you could click in this box and then click to register for the game. So after you register, you'll be taken to a page where you can choose to be a member of one of the three confederations that I mentioned before. Each confederation has their own history and backstory, and here are the headings for the, each of the confederations, and then underneath you could read the story and choose whichever one you want to join. Within the first five levels of the game, you could switch confederations for free. This could help you get a feel for the different groups, and you could find out which one suits you best. Starting at level six, however, you have to pay a fee in the in-game currency called Helix in order to switch groups. However, the longer you stay in one confederation, the lower the switching fee. So, as you can see here, I've already chosen to be a member of the Not Confederation, and I just clicked on that. Down here you could see how many active members or the percentage of active members who have chosen to be in this particular f confederation. And then if you click on close, you'll be taken to your home page which looks like this.